Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Samantha the Introvert. Today I want to give you my personal review on episode 2 of Cherry Magic 30. I already did my review on episode 1. Link is in the description below. So without further ado, let's get into it. The drama picked up where we left off with when Karen invited Achi to his place. And Achi, thinking he made a big mistake because he read Karen's mind and his mind was pretty clear on what he wants. Regardless, Achi went in and immediately Achi is amazed by Karen's place. Achi stumbled on a manga and when he reached to pick it up, Karen rushed to take it and their hands touched. Achi read Karen's mind and find out that he is embarrassed to let Achi find out he reads manga, but Achi reveals he likes mangas too. Karen gave Achi a pyjama which turns out that Karen bought them a long time ago for one day when luck will pass his way that Achi will sleep over at his place. Achi sat beside Karen and touched him and found out that the image on his pyjama represents the mole behind Achi's ears. Achi pretends to sleep to avoid Karen but that didn't work because Karen touched Achi and Achi read his mind and he thought Karen was about to kiss him but Karen ended up whispering in his ears good night. The next day Karen made breakfast and it turns out to be all of Achi's favorite. At work Karen sees Achi's tie and offers to give him a new tie to convince Achi that people might think that he has on the same clothes. Karen gave Achi the same exact tie he's wearing because he wants to feel like a couple and one of the co-workers noticed and immediately Achi denies it. Rock came and when anybody mentioned anything couple word wise, he flips out. I guess his date didn't go as well. Achi listened and overheard Pi scolding Rock for leaving and left Achi alone with his work. Achi came and picked up for Rock. Achi went to talk to Rock and read his mind and found out his girlfriend broke up with him on the date. Basically, the same experience Rock went through, Achi went through it as well. Achi also thinks that he's taking advantage of Karen's kindness. While at his desk, Karen came and gifted him a mosquito repellent for the upcoming trip. Karen lied though, saying he didn't buy it but a company worker gave it to him. But Achi mind reading found out the truth. Achi was later called in the boss's office. The boss then said he knows he stayed late to do his work and Brock's work. So Achi said Karen was there to help him. With that information, the boss then gifted them a voucher card to any restaurant. The boss is like a cupid in disguise. But Achi gave the voucher to Karen saying Karen should go alone. Elsewhere, Jinta is having problem on what to write in his romance novel when it clearly Jinta never experienced love. In other words, Jinta is having writer's block. A delivery guy came to deliver a package but the delivery was at the wrong place. Achi then called Jinta out to tell him about what happened with him and Karen. Jinta then gave Achi some advice with which to me the advice is like 50-50. After their little meal, Achi gifted Jinta a pen for his birthday gift. The next day, and it's the same delivery guy, came to this place to deliver a package and this time it's the right place. But what's interesting is Jinta starts to read the delivery guy's mind. It means Jinta just turns 30, which means Achi is older than Jinta. Jinta is freaking out because now he believes everything that Achi said. At lunch, they ask Karen to sit with them, then proceed to ask Karen about his ideal type. To prevent Karen from answering, Achi spout out work stuff. When leaving work, Karen lies and convinces Achi to go to eat with him at a good restaurant that has good food. When there, Achi touched Karen's foot which doesn't count to me because how the hell you feel each other's skin through the shoes. Anyways, he read Karen's mind and found out that the voucher that he was given was about to expire so Karen used it. 
While there, one of the workers came and apologized for the noise upstairs because it's a company party. Turns out, it's the company that both Archie and Karen work at that's making all the noise. The boss then said he wants everyone to play a game so they can cheer up Rock and his heartache. It's a number game and they ordered everyone to do an interesting dare. Now there was a person that ordered 4 and 2 to kiss. Now when they did it, they thought it was just a male and a female. Turns out it's Achi and Karen. They ordered Achi and Karen to kiss, but when Karen was reaching to kiss Achi, Karen realized that Achi backed away. So Karen kissed Achi on the forehead. Saddened by this, Karen left the room. Achi came and touched Karen and he found out that Karen thinks he makes Achi uncomfortable. When Karen walked off, Achi told Karen that the reason he didn't kiss Karen wasn't because he feel uncomfortable, it's because he's not experienced in kissing and I think Karen will think this as a confession. Okay guys, that is the end of my review on episode 2 of Cherry Magic 30. Stay tuned for my review on episode 3. And as always, if you like my review, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. And I'll see you next time.